A new coronavirus has killed 25 people in China and infected more than 800, the government said on Friday, as the World Health Organization declared it an emergency, but stopped short of declaring the epidemic of international concern. And joining us to talk about this this morning live in the studio with me is Dr. John Mark Boala. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Mark. Thank you for having me. Now, let's get talking about this this morning. What is the origin of coronavirus? Well, coronavirus, uh, this is a group of viruses that um, drive the name actually from the microscope uh, shape that looks like a crown. And it um, affects or causes respiratory um, infections in humans from common cold to lower infection, lower uh, lungs infections such as pneumonia. Now, the origins, um, these are, they usually are found in um, animal reservoir. Okay. So in such animals, they don't necessarily have to cause any... All kinds of animals or no, specific type of some animals? some like cats or rabbits, camels, they have been identified, even bats. Okay, now red is a strain of viruses that, that affect the respiratory system. What are its symptoms? Now, like this very new one, the novel coronavirus, um, is mostly cough, fever, and weakness, and sometimes difficulties in breathing. How much is known about this virus? Now, uh, this is quite a new one. However, uh, based on historic compared to the SARS one, if you remember, in 2002, 2003, still out of China, that was much more severe from the... Um, um, number of cases that led to death in that case was about 10%. Here you're having only 2 to 3% dead cases. So it's likely not to be uh, very virulent uh, as compared to SARS or EMRS. However, they are still monitoring and looking uh, uh, closely to see the trend. Okay. Now, some would say we, we tackled Ebola. Now, talking about the coronavirus, um, it's pretty much unprecedented. What are the challenges? And do, do you see this? Um, being cured anytime soon, a solution being provided anytime soon? Um, they're slightly different okay. with Ebola. Ebola is a hemorrhagic fever which affects uh, multi affect all, many organs and also um, affects the clothing system. So it, uh, victims tend to bleed and stuff like that. So uh, even though it's a virus, but the common thing is that both of them don't have specific treatment except of recent that they progress a lot with Ebola. Yeah. There's no vaccines as well for this very one. Yes. But um, because it's a respiratory infection and there's some experiences from SARS and EMRS, there's more of uh, precautionary measures that are taking place that is most likely it's going to stay for some time, similar to how SARS progressed for about six months before it clears off. It's likely to stay for some time, but because of control measures that might be in place, it's unlikely to spread to become a global emergency. And we seem to have an outbreak of Lassa fever. I mean, all over the place. Why now? Well, uh, typically, looking at the trend from 2015, 16, and stuff, you find out that um, it tends to come around November, December, January, February, March, uh, uh, this period. So it's, it's a trend that we are aware. The most disturbing thing is, it's coming from leaving the rural area and coming into bigger cities now, yes. and more and more. In fact, yesterday, uh, they reported case of uh, one dead of 24-year-old uh, victim in Medigree. Um, that is the index state, because the first diagnosis of this Lassa fever was in a town called Lassa in Borno State in 1969. And according to your report, since then, there were no uh, cases or outbreak of Lassa fever over there until this year in the capital city. Okay. So, now, now let, let's talk about protective and preventive measures that we can take um, as it concerns these two viruses, starting off with corona, the coronavirus. Now, for coronavirus, um, let's take uh, humans. For instance, we need to um, maintain good hand hygiene, washing hands with soap. For the coronavirus? And, yes, and then f take some time, not just pour water, but at least 30 seconds, and if possible, use hand sanitizers as well. Now, um, we also need to avoid contact with animals unnecessary, especially if we don't know the history of those animals, yeah, yeah. and make sure that we cook um, um, animal uh, pro protein, protein meats meat. properly, 
uh, before use. Now, for the healthcare sectors, they also need to have protective uh, equipment they will use and handle samples that are from suspected cases um, carefully, yes. storages and transportation. And then for the, um, and also maintain robust um, hygiene within the uh, facility and as well as isolation of uh, suspected cases or confirmed cases. Now for the country, we need to be on alert looking at the standard, international standard and also the Nigerian uh, CDC um, set standard of uh, controls, uh, especially at port of entries. All right. Dr. John Mark Bala, thank you very much for joining us on News on the Hour and for your contribution.